back to my channel everyone sweet tips here what I have is a uh, brick of gold and to hold it like this is very impractical I mean uh, who am I gonna get to give me hundred and twenty grand for a single chunk of gold and we've got sixteen hundred three grams that's 51.5 troy ounces of pure gold if you want to see how I poured this bar I'll put a link in this video to that video but for right now what we're going to do we're going to put this bar in a big 5 liter beaker here carefully so we don't break it In this experiment, I'm going to add some hypochloric acid, and we'll just cover this thing with some hypochloric acid. That's about 750 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. I've got everything all set up. I've got a uh, separatory funnel up here with about half a liter of nitric acid in it. And what we'll do is we'll drip the acid slowly down into our reaction beaker here to form aqua regia. We're going to dissolve this pure gold bar uh, throughout the dissolve sequence here. What I'll do is I'll be adding shots of hydrochloric acid to keep it hydrated you're watching the time lapse and it jumps up, you'll note that that's me adding hydrochloric acid to rehydrate the reaction. So now what I'm going to do is put this on time lapse and then we're going to start the nitric acid flow to form the aqua regia and dissolve our 51.5 troy ounce pure gold bar. Here we go. I started this process at about 11 o'clock on Monday. Today is Tuesday. And all I have left down there is a tiny sliver of the piece of gold, the brick of gold that I put in. It's almost completely dissolved. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, when all that gold goes into solution, what I'll do is evaporate this down to dryness form chloroauric acid crystals. We'll put the time lapse back on and we'll continue this experiment. It's about 6.30 on Friday morning, and I've been working on this 
since Monday. You can see the uh, chloroauric acid is beginning to crystallize in there. Uh, but it's taken a week to get there, five days to get to this point. And there's so much gold in there, it's not, uh, it's not evaporating like I'd like it to, as quickly as I'd like it to. You can see it's still liquid in there. Uh, and I've got a bunch of junk that fell down into the to the dish here, so we're gonna we're gonna replace this dish with a clean one and continue our experiment. Uh, we're gonna move this container off of here onto a clean container and we're going to take this down this is just some stuff that dripped from the overhead down into this pan I've got the new pan in place and so now what we're going to do is go ahead and put it back on the time lapse my goal is to evaporate this to dryness so that all I'm left with is solid chunks of orange chloroauric acid. Very close to being complete here. Uh, there's just a little bit of crust, I mean a little bit of liquid left in there. The whole bottom of the beaker is got solid. Well, no, there's still liquid in there, I guess. So we're just going to have to continue on until we get the rest of this liquid to form a solid chunk. This is it, I'm gonna call it right here. I put a piece of paper up here to see if I was losing gold through the mist that's coming up out of there and, it, and apparently there is some gold leaving the beaker as a fine atomized mist. So what we're gonna do, I've been at this for four days and four hours. I started at 11 a.m. on Monday. Today is Friday and it's 3 p.m. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn the, turn the uh, heat off and let this cool down naturally and then we're going to get in there and see what we got. I've pulled it down off the heat. I'm just going to let it cool down to ambient temperature. We'll keep an eye on it as it cools. I've got a mason jar here, just a regular glass jar. Weighs 423.9 grams. And we'll write that right on the outside of the jar. 423.9. This thing down off the heat for a couple hours now, and it's still hot to the touch. 
on the bottom of the beaker yeah it's hot enough to where I can't really hold my hand down here for very long so I think what we'll do here Give it a nice bath to uh, cool it off. I'm exhausted. I've been up all night for the last four nights babysitting this thing. Off and on, all night long for the last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. And I'm starting to fall asleep just sitting in my chair. So I'm going to hurry this along just a little bit by adding some ice container see if we get this thing cooled off we get this experiment concluded what I'm trying to do is demonstrate that we can uh, hold our gold in this form indefinitely we don't have to hold it in metallic form and I don't believe that a metal detector would be able to detect this gold because it's a salt gold chloride so uh, go ahead let, let this thing get cooled off and then we'll go from there I think we've got this cooled off now. What I'll do is uh, go ahead and let's get this thing set up to where we can get this, uh, get this material out of our beaker now. I'll take this paper here. It's gonna have a little bit of gold infused into it. I'll add that in my paper storage. Let me get down in here and see if I can uh, break this stuff up got a plastic spoon here and of course I cannot it's hard as a rock I've got a steel knife here Let's see if we can kind of break this up with a knife oh geez it's flying everywhere this is not gonna be easy I might end up breaking the beaker I think what we're going to have to do is break this up into separate parts, make this a multi-part video. This will be part one, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just exhausted. I can't even think straight on what to do next. Uh, it's hard as concrete down in there, so I'm not quite sure what I need to do next to get this thing I can't even think straight. I'm so tired. Been up working on this thing for four nights. Up all hours of the night, checking on it. So uh, we're going to call this a part one. And uh, we'll pick right up right here in part two. Thank you for watching.